any thoughts about um, what you took away from this experience? Do this type of things in my area, in mm. my community. Oh yeah. Yeah. After going back home, yeah. you can try. Yeah. What university are you going back to? The Ohio State. Oh okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so, Clara, <laughs> tell me about your experience in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll start with the food. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we know it's not as good as food in Ghana. The rice that doesn't have any sauce. <laughs> what else? What else? No, but in all, it was okay. There was too much food to eat, and their meat was okay. But I did not like them. But the meat was okay. But in all. Looking at the farms we went, starting from Clemens's farm, like I, I like all of them doing the organic farming because of like with that you might not get any diseases at the end of the day. You use all the waste to do composting and that's also there is no waste anywhere. And also yeah, it's like giving employment to people. Honestly, mo back home, most cities do not farm mm. inside the city, but this one is like, it's a show that you can do anything anywhere with determination and mm. hard work. So I think okay. I like it and I think it will help us back home, I'll carry it to our farmers back home to also implement on organic farming. They do farming, but they don't do organic farming. They add chemicals, pesticides, oh. fertilizers, but they do not. So I think it's a good experience and it's going to help my country. Thank, you. Thank, right. you. Thank you. So, if you would, for the camera, state your name. My name is Efia Sewaka Kerry. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Ghana. Ghana, okay, yeah. what school? Currently in University of Georgia. Okay. And back in Ghana? Back in Tangana, I'm a crop protectionist in Surrey, Savannah uh, Agricultural Research Institute. Okay. Okay, so if you could just reflect a little bit on today's experience and um, what you got from it. Yeah, I think all in all, it's been a, a good experience. Um, from the farms, we, you know, in Ghana currently, even though the farmers are smallholder farmers, mm -hmm. but um, they have moved from the traditional way of farming into I wouldn't call it urban um, uh, or modern farming practices, right, right. whereby they use a lot of chemicals, mm -hmm. you know, to control pests, weeds, and other things. But then. Here, we thought that America is a big country where everything or every farming system is modernized or mechanized. Mm -hmm. But this experience has shown us that still they are still into the traditional way of um, um, farming that is organic, you know, using compost, seeing and no use of uh, inorganic fertilizer or chemical pesticides. Mm -hmm. you know? and the disadvantage of the pesticides used in Ghana, you know, is that most of the farmers are um, kind of illiterate and they tend to abuse these chemicals. So I think that um, what I've seen is that when I go back home, I'm still going to encourage my people or my farmers, because I do interact with farmers a lot through my work. So I will still encourage them to continue with, you know, if they can. You know, with the old or the traditional way of farming that is going into organic, you know, what we had earlier on, into organic farming, you know, and cut down on the use of chemicals. Yeah. Okay. So, one other question in terms of coming down here with the other Be Heard scholars, um, 
How has that experience been like, connecting with? Yeah, it's, it's been a nice experience because um, we were all scholars of the scholarship, I mean, fellows, mm -hmm. let me, but we were only, we had not seen each other physically. Mm -hmm. It was only sometimes through mails, you know, you only see their email addresses, but you don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. But um, the conference or the workshop has brought us all together and we have known each other, the expertise of each other, the schools that they are currently in, what they are doing, and we have exchanged our contacts, you know, and we hope that from here we are going to, you know, build that network mm -hmm. that will not last, I mean, that will be a lasting um, one, I mean, last, lasting network. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Your final thoughts about the experience? Uh, Danny is the journey and the tour and the experience is very awesome. Actually, I have two ideas about organic farming mm. and about the fresh farming. The farming who is, uh, who is uh, accepted by the US, uh, US government, certified by US government is organic farming, but who is, uh, who is, uh, is not USDF accepted that is not organic farming right. but the, the local people they accepted this right. as like the organic farm or organic foods and the way the people describe those things is very nice and they are they are so welcoming and they are also very generous i am very happy and I, I am very pleased mm. to have to attend this tour. Yeah. So, in terms of being able to to spend this time meeting some of your be heard scholars and getting to know people better, um, what are your thoughts about that? Actually, I think. Uh, Dealing with peoples uh, and mixing with multicultural cultural mm. peoples, it uh, is very good opportunity for me, mm. and I can know better than before. Yeah. I have a good experience about uh, about the uh, about different countries, mm. how they cook their food, how they right. how <laughs> their rice requirements. Yeah. How uh, the kind of food they like, what kind of food they like so much. Mm -hmm. I have uh, I, I ha I got an idea about that. Okay. Well thank you. Appreciate your time. So Esther <laughs> and your photo bombing friend. <laughs> okay, now we're at the end of the day. Right. What are some of your thoughts about this experience? Uh, it was a nice experience. I really like it. And uh, I think that um, what Renee and her team are doing, it's, it's actually the way to go. Mm -hmm. I feel encouraged to see that there are people who are thinking in a certain direction that uh, not many people will be thinking of uh, eating right, growing uh, organic, you know, produce. So for me, it's kind of uh, food for thought to think what I can also do to contribute when I'll go back and whilst I'm here how I can stimulate people I meet, people I will talk with, you know yeah, so okay, thank you. Right. it is good to be done, it feels nice I'm glad that it worked out, like we were never necessarily in pouring rain standing there 
Um, we got to see each of the things that we planned. And like I, I said earlier, it's, it's still interesting to see that there's some work being done on agriculture even in a, a very city urban setting. Right. Any unexpected lessons or unexpected lessons? <laughs> Communication is important. <laughs> um, I guess I was talking to Renee earlier and thinking like I didn't realize how much um, kind of there was an organic movement just even among kind of uh, these little farms that pop up and trying to like, give back to you know, the people in the community and I didn't realize that they wanted to have such an emphasis on say like natural growing methods or anything like that and I thought that was interesting. I studied molecular biology in school and so to hear then people talking about well you know, instead of doing GMOs or using pesticides or you know we want to try and get back to uh, being maybe not necessarily certified organic but um, be more natural in the methods that we use to, to do agriculture. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah.